Welcome to chapter 17 of the book of Second Chronicles. We begin now with King Jehoshaphat, the son of Asa. Asa had died. I heard about that, read about that in the 16th chapter, and now it says, And Jehoshaphat, his son, reigned. Eosaphat. A lot of these words I'm going to pronounce in Greek as far as the personal uh, nouns, proper nouns, uh, instead of him. And him being Asa. And Jehoshaphat, Eosaphat, strengthened against Israel. So the Israel, the northern kingdom, uh, was uh, defeated earlier and uh, by uh, Judah. And then they decided to, they strengthened Israel, strengthened with King Basha, and it was going to come down and try to try to attack uh, Judah, and then um, King Asa paid off uh, the king of Syria to come down and uh, to take care of Israel, which happened, and um, Asa gained um, cities in uh, Israel, and now uh, is his son is strengthening uh, these areas that they gained. Uh, in with uh, Asa at towards the end of his life, and uh, here um, Jehoshaphat is 35 years old when he ha- becomes king, and one half of the kings of Israel ha- will have reigned before his death. And during his reign, here we have Ahab, uh, 17 years dur- of uh, of Jehoshaphat's reign, and then as a Ahaziah one year, and then Joram six years. So it continues in uh, Jehoshaphat, and he put a force in all the fortified cities of Judah and put Igumenus, uh, Igumenus, I'm sorry, uh, leaders, hegemons uh, in the land of Judah, made up leaders, apparently uh, civil and uh, military. And in the cities of Ephraim, which Asa, his father, first took. Now, we'll go to the map here, and we can see right here that um, uh, Ephraim is just right north of uh, Judah, and so the fa- the southernmost part of Israel is uh, taken over by uh, the kingdom of Judah, Asa, and now Jehoshaphat. And the Lord was with Jehosh- uh, Eosaphat, for he went in uh, the first ways of David, his patros. And he did not seek after the Idola. So Jehoshaphat was a, one of the righteous kings of Judah. Asa, his father, was for most of his life, except for the very last. And Jehoshaphat said, uh, but, uh, it was said, but, Jehoshaphat, he sought after the Lord God of his patros, and by his commandments he went, and not by the works of Israel. So, basically, he continued with God, and continuing with God brings blessings on the whole. And uh, he did not go by the works of Israel. It's now Israel, remember, are the brethren of Israel. The Jews, their fellow Jews, ten tribes up north, uh, maybe nine now with Ephraim pretty well taken over by Judah, uh, but they're, they were idolaters. They went after the golden calves that Jeroboam had made, but not so with Jehoshaphat. And the Lord straightened the kingdom in his hand, and all, gave, and all Judah gave gifts to Jehoshaphat. Dora, we have the woman's name Dora old name, but um, it meant a gift. And so the people love Jehoshaphat, and they give him um, money and gifts and so forth. And there became to him uh, much riches and glory. Pluto, so we have the uh, planet Pluto, means rich. Doxa, the doxology and the liturgy of the church, churches. Poli, poly, much. And uh, his... Jehoshaphat's heart was raised up high in the ways of the Lord. 
That mean, and that's good because he was uh, putting the ways of the Lord first. And again, he removed the high places and the sacred groves from the land of Judah. So now people rebuilt them when they tear them down. I'm not exactly sure, but he did more uh, cleansing, uh, more reform, uh, getting rid of these places for, of idolatry. And in the third year of his Vasilius, Trito, uh, Tri is three, uh, he sent uh, his Igumenus and the sons of the mighty ones, Venaton, dynamite, uh, dynamic. Uh, Obit, uh, okay, I'll pronounce the uh, Greek names and the Greek spelling. You can see the English. Abdion and Zacharion and Nathanael and Mikaon to teach in the cities of Judah. So teaching uh, the people things that they need to find out about. I don't know if it was spiritual things or the laws, maybe both. And with them, the Levite, Sameas and Nathanias and Zavdias and Asiel and Semiramoth and Ionathan and Adonias and Tovias and Tovadonia. The Greek is the what looks like a B is a with a V sound. And the Levite uh, and with them Elisam, Elisama and Yoram, the priests. So these people are all going out. And what did they do? And they taught in Judah, and with them was the book of the law of the Lord, the Bible. Vivlos, a Bible, book. Now, there was a scroll probably, but uh, they, um, this was a giant Bible study of teaching the law to all uh, the people of, of the land. And oh, that we could be doing that in the United States today. Uh, well, 2017, where these war drums are now being beaten with North Korea, and um, uh, I don't know what's going to happen in the future. We'll find out, but it doesn't look very good that this country is walking away from the Lord big time. It's gone into all sorts of um, the newer type of idolatry over materialism, uh, owning things, and every, uh, hedonism, uh, me first and everybody else next and, and uh, sexual perverseness with pornography rampant uh, on the internet and um, orgies being performed in the desert, uh, this thing called Burning Man, and um, tremendous amount of people coming from the East with the religions uh, of the East of Hinduism and um, Buddha and Islam. So the country's just falling apart as I'm talking. But, oh, that it was, was teaching the law of the Lord. That's what I like to think I'm doing here. And they went through in the polis, seeing the cities of Judah, and taught the people. So, well, now that's, they go walking, going around, walking or riding donkeys, camels, whatever. And they teach the Bible, the vivlos, at the time. Now, remember, the Bible at the time here uh, didn't have any of the prophecies. Uh, none of the prophets uh, that wrote uh, the books, uh, are, I believe, are alive yet. And it was, so this was basically the uh, what they were teaching was the law of Moses, the, the Torah, the first five books, and then the history of Joshua uh, and the book of Judges, and then about uh, Samuel, and then David, Saul, and uh, Saul and Jonathan, and then um, um, the Earl Solomon, then his sons, till this time here. And there came to pass a ecstasy. We have an ecstasy as a derivative, a change of state of the Lord upon all the kingdoms of the land round about Judah. And they did not wage war against Eosaphat. 
because they were uh, had respect for the power that he had, and his power came from God. And I think they, they can see that. When uh, you have God behind you, then other kingdoms will think twice about what they're doing. But if you walk away from the Lord, as the United States has pretty much done, then nobody has respect for it. And that's a sad state when that happens. And this is what will happen here, though, well, with uh, Israel as it goes uh, down. And uh, from the Philistines, they uh, brought to Yosafat Dora and Argirion, and also the Aravis, Aravis, uh, Aravis. The accent is right there, actually, on the al- Alpha. The Arabians uh, brought to him rams of the flocks, 7,700. He goes 7,700. And Yosafat was going greater unto height, and is becoming wealthier, basically, and more famous. And he built uh, places of abode in Judah, Echesis, uh, uh, palaces, and fortified cities, polis, metropolis, polis, derivatives. And many erga works were taking place by him in Judah, building a lot of things, uh, cities and um, fortifications and bridges probably and aqueducts, all sorts of things. And mighty men warriors being strong were in Jerusalem and the army basically were all the Jews uh, from the days of Solomon. And this is the arithmos, arithmetic comes from that word of them according to the ikus of their patreon. And to Iuda, the commanders of thousands, Adnas, uh, the archon, and with him mighty sons of power, Dinati, Dinameos, dynamite, din- dynamic, has to do with power, a 300 Heliades, thousand. And after him, Ionan, the archon, and with him 280 Heliades. And after him was Amasias, the son of Zechri, the one feeling eager to the Lord, wanted to do the right thing. So, well, that's wonderful. You have leaders that want to do the right thing for the Lord. Uh, but we did recently have a prayer meeting in the White House uh, a couple of weeks ago. So that was a good sign. Hopefully things will be changing to the better with this country. And uh, with him, 200,000 mighty men of power. So they were anxious to do the things that were the best for Judah. And from out of Veniamin, Venatos Venamios, Eliada, and with him, bowmen and men armed with small shields. 200,000. And with him was Eozavad, and with him, 180,000 mighty uh, dinati polemu, Iliadis dinati polemu. These were the uh, liturguntes, the ones officiating to the vasoli. Liturgy is a derivative. Uh, ectos, outside of ectoderm, the louder layer of the skin. Ectos, outside of the ones uh, whom the king put uh, in the fortified cities in all Judea. So we see now uh, Judah now is becoming strong around uh, uh, towards all the countries that are surrounding it where Israel will start to falter, has a lot of civil wars within itself, different people vying for to be king. We won't be going through a lot of that in Chronicles, but we will when we go to Kings. And then chapter 18 continues uh, with Jehoshaphat and his uh, allegiance to Ahab, who was the king uh, of Israel. And we'll find out about th- uh, this when we get into the 18th chapter. And I hope you'll join us in the 18th chapter. And God bless.